You want to go to Dan? I'm going to Dan right now. Dan, how you doing over there? I'm doing well. How you guys doing? You, Dan, I can't see from here. Do you have your mask on? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. How about now? Can you see you, me now? You got it. Dan, you're in charge. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bob. Um, just because those guys are no longer on screen doesn't mean that you cannot continue to donate. Please continue to give to this fantastic organization. As you can see, the money keeps climbing. Let's keep it going that way tonight. But right now, we have two more guests joining us uh, over here at Hope Rocks. We have Tammy Joy Lane and Michael Diedrich. Uh, Tammy Joy Lane joining us via Zoom. Um, thank you guys for both uh, coming here and being with us tonight. Um, now, through some of the research I've done on you guys, I've seen you guys have been sending your message out all over through many mediums. Um, Tammy Joy, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, why is it important to get that message out and how have you spread this message so far? So it's important because everyone needs to be reminded often that they matter. You know, sometimes we just look down and try to remind those, but we got to look up too because everyone struggles and even people you think are okay are not really as okay as you, they put hide behind their smile. Michael, anything to add? Um, no, Tammy and I have been, um, since the, our connection started at Hope Rocks, and it's just been, um, it's been amazing how we've been connecting ever since then, four years later. And now we are uh, collaborating on a, uh, on a, in a book that we're trying to get out for suicide prevention. Um, it's coming from people, at least for me, I'm a chef by trade, so writing isn't necessarily my strong forte. But it's, it's amazing walking this journey with and finding some of these people through this journey, such as Tammy and Joe and so many others. And it's, it's, it's really been a, 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 an amazing and is amazing, uh, amazing journey in a way to, to go through this healing process and being able to go through that. And, you know, you feel your pain, you know. I mean, we're, we're dealing with a problem here. I mean, a major problem, which I believe, you know, um, we've disassociated ourselves with the problem of suicide, overdoses, and mental health. I mean, really, the statistics are staggering. By now, we all know someone that has been affected or has personally struggled with subways with drugs or mental illness or suicidal thoughts or actions. Uh, these topics are appearing all over the social media, the news, billboards, TVs, and talk shows, and it seems like everybody's talking about it, but nobody's really talking about it. And what I mean is, is that there's a very difficult and uncomfortable discussions that we need to have, yet we tend to avoid them. We avoid them because they hit too close to home. We avoid these conversations not because we don't identify with them, but they're, it's because they're too painful to relate to. And let's face it, they cause fear. Parents need to learn not only to speak of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, but to suicide and mental health as well. These are scary topics to broach, but they can't be swept under the rug. The consequences are too great. We need to keep these conversations going. And as I said before, worldwide, we've lost over 800,000 people to the coronavirus, which has changed the world forever. Yet that's just a typical year in the loss to suicide and, and since 2016 alone. So we just need to do better. Yeah, and I, I mentioned you guys have talked about your book a little bit. I want to get a little bit more into that. Who is this book uh, for and how can it help spread the message? So we want to talk to parents. So what happened is I met my Michael and I was talking to him and I had talked to my friend, a mother who had lost her son to suicide. They said the exact same phrase. I talked to him about sex, drugs, rock and roll, but never about the voices in their head. And as soon as they both said the exact same phrase in totally different states, I'm like, we have to do this. We have to start the conversation. And as I've told my friend, I said, I would rather hear you up in my face telling me how to be better than to bury my baby. Yeah. That's good. And uh, now let's uh, move a little bit toward, we, we're hearing um, a lot about some of the things that you can do to help around here. What are some positive experiences uh, that you recommend people seek out as they struggle with, with mental illness or whatever it may be? Well, for me, I, I mean, for me, it's very important because I'm not only just a suicide survival of my son that took his life, but I'm also attempted twice myself. I mean, this book is uh, as powerful as it is. It's really, if you just put it from this, it's written by a veteran, a mother, a father, and a daughter. And by that, that just speaks volumes. And, you know, for me, I really have to pay attention to my thoughts. 
you know, I have to seek support and realize that doesn't, not one size fits all. I do brain mapping and neurofeedback and some things that I'm finding some very good results with. I mean, it's important that we just don't give up. You let go of the fear and let go of the shame. We break the taboos and the, st and the stigmas. And we make sure that we do self-care and don't go this alone. I mean, find a support group. There's all kinds of stuff out there. There's counseling, there's friends, there's, there's all kinds of support groups, arts, music, music you know, yoga. Uh, hiking is my big thing. I get out into nature. Nature is a healing. There's a thing called the, the uh, three-day effect, which says that our brains reset from being in nature for that long. Um, you know, and just realize that there's options and, there, and there's hope out there. Millions of people are struggling yeah. with the same thing. And we're not alone. And that's, that's what I've been learning, too, is we, we share the same thoughts. We sh those thoughts that say you're stupid, you're not worth it, nobody cares. It's not original. None of that is original. And for me, I've used kindness as my drug of choice. And I just like to get high. And it's on kindness because... I get the helpers high and it propels me forward. But one key I want to bring up is make sure we're reciprocating that high on kindness and saying yes when kindness is offered. Because we are kind of a selfish nation, we give, give, give. And when kindness is offered, you know, we put our hand up to say, I'm okay. When really we're freaking dying inside. So I just want to make sure people realize how important it is to say yes when kindness is offered to allow others to feel that helper's high. Well, thank you to both of you for joining us. Very important message. Um, right now, we're going to hand it back over to Kevin McLaren, this time joined by Larry Packer, Packer and Matthew McLaren. Guys, take it away. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a song I wish I never had to write, um, but I did. Uh, it's about a, a dear friend of mine. Uh, I think many are watching who also were very close with him. Um, you know, we miss him every yeah. day and we always will. Right. So uh, uh, I am fortunate to be joined tonight by Larry Packer uh, and my son, Matt. And I'm just going to give a quick shout out to the Duke, Josh, and my wife, Victoria. And let's do it. No, I know you feel you stayed a little long, but we enjoyed your stay. Horsed around and sang a great song, making hay all day, and that night a great shout. But there's a knock on the door again. It's time to check out. I wish that just one more time we were checking in. Simple conversation. How have you been? No heavy lifting, and just a peek in your soul. And the thought of you growing Swimming upstream can be a tiring ordeal When the demons are chasing and they seem so real Flew so high, but it's a long way down When you can't stop that deafening sound Pedal to the metal there's only one way to fly Streets are littered with losers Who only know how to glide I wish that just one more time We were checking in Simple conversation How have you been? No heavy lifting And just a peek in your soul You left a wake behind Wish you knew how many stood 
ready to help with the climb Traded in your uniform When you could no longer feel Trade a suit made of iron For one we thought was made of steel Wish that just one more time We were checking in Simple conversation Just a peek in your soul And the thought of you Growing old Made mighty by the sun but Damaged by the dark We hope for peace As your body turned into bark As the fatigues came off And the will to you would see the beauty and the light, but you felt so much more we could ever know. Ran a race against time, true score we didn't know. We didn't know.